It was already hard enough to knock down all of this year's best plays of the year down to a final list of 10. But then we had the fact that technology isn't perfect, and it led us to push these first set of plays of the year nominees back just a couple more days to today. But it adds to the anticipation of which plays will be moving on. We start on the hardwood. Plattsburgh State's Chris Manning and Shamoy McIntosh, their teammates, so they know each other well, to throw up the alley oop jam. McIntosh going back door for the thundering finish. Let's go outside now. South Burlington to be, to be exact. Cam Nolting, no stranger to top plays here in WPTC, so it should be no surprise that this behind the back goal gets him on the list of nominees to loan the cross play for the year. Friday Night Lights. Here's a name that came up once or twice. Essex's Brandon Gleason doing a little bit of a David Tyree impression, securing the ball with his helmet holding on for the Hornet touchdown. This week's runner-up is Beekman Town's Callie Velomir with the booming kick, a long-distance blast for the goal and for one of the best plays of 2014. On the ice, Lake Placid's Tucker Angelopoulos wins the semifinal week, stealing more than just the goal from Beekman Town here, stealing the show in the win and has one of the fans behind him in total awe. Now, Tucker will win the week but automatic, and automatically move on to the final round. From here, the other four plays this week will wait and see how the votes fall for the next week's plays. The winner of the next week automatically advances as well. And the three next best plays after that by you, the voters, will move on to the finals. I will display our next top five play of the year nominees tomorrow night. Ken Drake, News Channel 5 Sports.